गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई होप यू आर आर फील्ड एंड फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल एट योर होम वेलकम बैक इन ग्रेट टेन सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक विच इज चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन वेटेज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ऑन अ फाइनल एग्जाम इज फॉर मार्क्स बिफोर टू लर्न एथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन आई इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन सिक्वेंस एंड प्रोग्रेशन सो लेट्स बिगेन लुक हियर एवरी वन केयरफुली वट इज अक्वेंस इट इज सेट और रूल ऑफ नंबर एरेज अकॉर्डिंग टू ए स्पेसिफिक रूल और पेटर्न दैट इज सिक्वेंस इज अ मैथमेटिकल रूल और पैटर्न simply what is a sequence sequence is a mathematical rule or pattern moreover a sequence is an order list of a number here i write some example of a sequence suppose 1 2 3 4 up to infinite this is a set of natural number second 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 next 1 2 3 4 5 up to Go on. Here, two, four, six, eight, ten. The set of even number. These all are even number. Next example: one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So on. The set of odd number. So I write here with I write even number. Here, odd number. This is a natural number. Okay. Now look here. I arrange some number below mathematical rule. Suppose one, 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 two, three, five, eight, thirteen. So on. Here look. One plus one, two. One plus two, that means three. Two plus three, that means five. Three plus five, that means eight. We get next term to add. Previous two terms, okay. This type of sequence is called Fibonacci sequence. Okay, keep in your mind. Sometimes in a MCQ they ask, what is this type of sequence? It is called Fibonacci sequence. Now look here: two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, up to infinite. I write here all prime number. This is a set of prime number. Okay. so this all example of a sequence again i repeat sequence is a an order list of number in a mathematical rule or pattern okay look each number in a sequence is called term or element or sometimes it's called member here this is a first term this is a second term this is a third term or you can call element or number Next, a sequence which have finite term is called a finite sequence. Look here, I take example one, two, three, four. Stop. That's it. It's a finite because what is a finite meaning of if it's a countable number, then it is said to be a finite. Similarly, a sequence which have infinite term called infinite sequence. Suppose one, two, three, four, up to so on. Here I take all example infinite sequence because in all sequence there are so many terms. Okay, got it, everyone? Now move ahead. Progression. What is a progression? Here look. Progression is a list or set of numbers arranged according to a defined mathematical rule. In a progression, there is a mathematical rule. While in a sequence, sequence has also a mathematical rule or pattern. Okay, okay. Now a sequence in which we can find nth term is called a progression. Simply meaning of a progression, if I found nth term of a sequence, then it is converted in a progression. Okay, that means this point is very important. A sequence in which we find nth term is called a progression. Okay, look. Here some examples: one, two, three, four, up to 
infinite, the sum of set of natures number. Here also I take those examples. The set of even number two four six eight one three five seven. The set of odd number one three nine twenty seven. Okay, here look. This is this one. One cube one three three cube. Three square nine, three cube thirty seven, three raised to four, three raised to five, up to so on. Hundred seventy forty up to infinite minus one minus one point five minus two minus two point five. This all are progression. Okay, what is the difference of sequence and progression? Here I write main difference. Every progression is a sequence, but converse is not true. That means this all example is a sequence, but every sequence is may or may not be progression. So I write here every sequence is may or may not be may or may not be progression. Okay. Again I. Repeat. Every progression is a sequence, but converse is not true. That means sequence may or may not be progression. But these all are sequence. Okay. And last, every sequence may or may not be progression. Here already I told you. Okay. Got it, everyone? Okay. Look. Okay, now look. What is the arithmetic progression? Here, in a short form, today one of us we call arithmetic progression. That means A P. Okay. Now look definition. An arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number. A fixed number. To the presenting term, except the first term. Presenting term that means default term. Okay. Again, I read an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding the fixed number to the presenting term, except the first term. That is a sequence of numbers that increase or decrease. By the same amount each time. That is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the two consecutive term is constant. Okay. If difference of two consecutive term are constant, then given list is said to be arithmetic progression, or given sequence is a arithmetic progression. Directly we cannot say. It's a sequence, it's a progression, or it's a arithmetic progression. We have to check if difference of two consecutive term is always constant. Then we can say that a given sequence is a arithmetic progression. Okay? It's a minor difference between se sequence progression and arithmetic progression. Okay? Here difference can be positive, negative, or zero. Depend on data. Finite AP. What is finite AP? It has finite term, and what is infinite AP? It has infinite terms, or you can say it has no last term. Is a infinite AP. Okay, look. Example. This all are example of arithmetic progression. One, two, three, four. That's it. That means this is a finite AP. Finite AP. We write here. Finite AP. Here one, two, three, four, up to so on. That means infinite AP. Infinite AP. Okay, arithmetic progression. Here look, all terms are same. Three, 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 three. This is also an AP. Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, up to so on. It's a AP. A sequence is in AP if t n plus one minus t n is equal to constant. That means the difference of two consecutive term is equal to constant. 
Okay, look here. What is the difference from these two terms? Three minus three zero. Again three minus three zero. Again three minus three zero. That means difference of all consecutive terms are same, constant, or you can call same. If you have same difference between any two consecutive number, therefore a given sequence is a arithmetic progression. Look here. Two minus one. Four. Three minus two again one, four minus three again one. That means this is also an AP. It doesn't matter finite AP or infinite AP, but this is an AP. Okay? I hope you all have understood. Got it, everyone? Look. Okay, now look here. We discuss about the general form of arithmetic progression. Okay, so look, what is the general form of an AP? Okay, this is the main important sentence of this chapter. Okay. Okay, if I take first term, first term is equal to a. Suppose I consider first term is a and difference is equal to d. Difference that means two consecutive term. Then how many a b? So first of all, write first term. Okay, because our first term is a. After a difference every time, that means a plus b. Okay. Now again a difference a plus b plus b. Okay. Again a difference that means a plus b plus b plus b up to so on. Okay. And look, if I find previous preceding term, then you have to subtract difference. Therefore, below this term, there is a a minus b. Below this term, a minus b minus b. Okay. In short, if we go right side in a right direction, every time we have to add difference. And if we go a opposite direction, that means left side. We have to subtract difference. Okay, that is I write this general form. I write a a plus b. Okay, a plus b plus b. That means two d. Sum of these two term. That means a plus two d. A plus three times b. A plus four d. So on infinite. Okay. Further, a plus n d, a plus n plus one into d. Okay. Next, a plus n plus two into d. Okay. Before this term, subtract difference. A minus b. That means this term. Minus b minus d. That means minus two d. A minus two d. So on. This is a general form of a p. Okay, where a is the first term and d is the difference of two consecutive term. Okay, d is a positive, negative, or zero. Okay, this is the first term. That means I write a or p one, p four term one. That means first term. This is called t two, second term. This is third term. This is fourth term. Okay. Now look. In second term, coefficient of d is one. In third term, coefficient of d is two. That means here three, three minus one, two, two minus one, one, four minus one. That means three. Here three, and this is a n term. Okay, this is a n term. Okay, look here. Or here I write up to up to a plus 
प्लस एन डी ए प्लस एन प्लस वन इंटू डी ओके देट मीन्स यू कैन राइट वट इज अ फर्स्ट टर्म ए वट इज अ सेकेंड टर्म ए प्लस डी वट इज अ थर्ड टर्म दिस इज अ फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ अ टर्म थर्ड टर्म देट मीन्स ए प्लस टू डी ए प्लस टू डी एंड सो ऑन यर वट इज अंथ टर्म ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू डी यर प्रीवियस ऑफ दिस टर्म यू कैन राइट ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू डी एंड दिस इज अवर एंथ टर्म ओके वॉट इज एवरी वन लुक okay and if we uh, want to find the difference so what is the formula of difference d is equal to second term minus first term or you can write d is equal to third term minus second term or you can write d is equal to fourth term minus third term or you can write d is equal to nth term minus nth minus one term okay if you want to find the difference then simply take a Difference between consecutive two terms, okay? Succeeding term minus preceding term every time, okay? I hope you all have understood what is the general form of an AD. Again, I last time repeat, this is a general term A A plus B A plus B D A plus B D up to so on infinite, okay? Look. <coughs> 